July is about to end the seventh month August begins as the eighth month eighth is the number of new beginning and the Bible says remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old he said for behold I do a new thing forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire let your mind be holy God's fire I wrote three scriptures here in the place of prayer that the Lord gave me let me speak over your life number one Job chapter 5 and verse 12 let me just speak it over your life very quickly media help us Job 5 he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise hear me anybody who does not mean well for you may their hands never come close to your destiny Psalm 7, 15 and 16. These three scriptures came to me in the place of prayer. I was not even praying about them. They just came to my spirit. He made a pit and digged it and is falling into the ditch which he made. Verse 16. His mischief shall return upon his head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pit. Please hear me. In this season, May the God of vengeance, may the God who is able to judge, may he bring judgment to the works of the wicked over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Last scripture, Isaiah 54, 17. Popular scripture, but it came to my spirit in the place of prayer. Isaiah 54, 17. It says, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper so everything is looking for prosperity including the devil including weapons they want to prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn the bible says this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is of me i want to pray for you if any mouth must speak about you, let it be for good. Yeah. One more time. If any tongue must speak about you, let it be for good. Yeah. Every counsel of Ahitophel towards your helpers to manipulate them so that they do not treat you with favor. In the name of Jesus, we overturn this night. Yeah by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ July is about to end the seventh month August begins as the eighth month eighth is the number of new beginning and the Bible says remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old he said for behold I do a new thing may that new thing anointing rest upon you new things in your spiritual life new things financially new things in your career new things in life and destiny hear me the spirit of the old old things i drive it far from your life in the name of jesus christ if I speak favor over you, are you still willing to receive? Until I see every one of us become a living epistle of the favor of God, I will not stop speaking it over your life. For some of you, it will take a while speaking it for you to come to the consciousness of the all-surpassing value of the favor of God in the life of a man. But for as many whose hearts are open and truly ready to receive, in Jesus' name, one more time, even this night, receive favor. Favor with men, favor with systems, favor with structures. Be at peace with money. In the name of Jesus Christ, your daily bread needed for your efficiency. 
per day, per week, per month. Let God bring it to your hands. Koinonia, hear me. By favor, even in famine, you shall laugh. Your children will laugh. In the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you know that favor is not just limited to things. It takes favor to receive encounters with God. When Gabriel came to Mary, he said, I am here because you are highly favored. In other words, it's not because your eyes were opened through prayer and fasting alone. It takes favor when God, the Bible says, blessed is the man who God causes to appear, to approach him. The vistas of the spirit are not just open because you pursue in terms of prayer and fasting as important as that is. There are men who can find favor with God and God can come to you, open to you the vistas of your destiny. Let me pray for your spiritual life. You have received things enough. Let's pray for nobler things in your life. In the name that is above all names, your prayer life, every attack over your prayer life, the diligence, the discipline to travel until you evolve to become that superior believer. Receive that grace now. Receive that mantle now. Receive that anointing now. Receive that grace now. The grace to wake up and pray. And to pray till you establish things in your life. Number two. Receive the grace to have dominion over food. Some of you, the unbecoming in your life is gluttony. You can resist every other temptation but food. Everything God gave man, he gave man control over. The moment things dominate you, you are oppressed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the grace to discipline yourself in prayer, in fastings, for the purpose of your spiritual growth. Receive it now. Let me pray for your word study life. You know by now that the anchor to your stability and growth is a thorough methodical understanding of doctrine, even the ways of God. That in all your knowledge, if there are gaps in your spiritual understanding, you cannot become a person of stature. So week in, week out, you are mentored, shown the various facets of the Christian life to the end that you become robust, built as Ephesians says should be. I decree and declare the appetite for the word, the appetite for study, not just study to preach, not just study to go on social media, but study for your knowledge, for your stability and for your understanding. Receive that grace now. For many of you who have underutilized the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the only circumference of our knowing Him is just praying in tongues and then we stop there. I pray for you that the deeper dimensions of intimacy that can drive men into that river with the Holy Spirit, wherewith champions are made out of weakness, wherewith strength is made, wherewith destinies are birthed, that men are molded and fashioned to become men of power and grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, I, I push you deeper into that relationship. For someone here, your only prayer when you came is apostle, please pray that God will give me at least one good friend. I'm tired of liars in my life, tired of psychophants, tired of hypocrites. I don't know who that person is. May my God, the one who connects men, who takes men in solitary places and connects them to families, may he bring strategic people and connect you in the order of David and Jonathan. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if there is any wrong person, wrong company, wrong group of people misleading you, number one, from your walk with God, from your passion for the house of God, misleading you into perdition, I pray for you from this service, obtain grace to run as far as the east is from the west. In the name of Jesus. The level of spiritual power needed in your life for this season, power to overcome evil, power to ward off the arsenals of darkness, 
power to stand tall and see to it that the purposes of God are birthed in your life, the requisite level of spiritual power, the impartation in the order of Acts chapter 4, let it be rested upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. For in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray. For in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus we pray. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.